Is it a facility itself that is special, or is it the events that take place inside that facility? A new book about a Milwaukee landmark allows you to make a compelling case for both points of view. Tim Van Voren goes beyond the game. Before American Family Field, there was Miller Park, and before Miller Park, there was Milwaukee County Stadium. Plain name? Sure. Run-of-the-mill place? Hardly. Proof is in a new book called On Story Parkway by Jim Crines. I know what my vision wasn't. My vision wasn't to write a wonky book, wasn't to write a book that people would look to for statistics. I wanted to write something that people could look at and feel the heart of it. But I think it's important to uh, point out that it isn't just about baseball. As you know, this is about the concerts that took place there, the Braves games, it, uh, the uh, Jehovah Witness conventions, the WWE, the ice capades. Bob Hope actually did a gig there once. Crines has worn many hats over the years, including freelance sports writer. He's an everyman who's had some access behind the scenes. We've been around the Hall of Famers, and we've been around the guy that spilt the beer on himself during a game. I think that the, the incredible part about this is the level playing field, pardon the pun. It's uh, we're all the same when we go to an event. It's a collective experience. The book is heavy on anecdotes from a cross section of contributors. And then there are the photographs reflecting a similar cross section. You like the stories better? You like the photographs better? I, I really can't. I have two daughters. And I love them equally. I can't love either one of those more. So you're right. It's not an either or. And I'd be hard pressed to say if I had to get rid of one of them, I don't know which it would be. County Stadium used to sit in what is now the shadow of American Family Field, nay Miller Park. If this book doesn't exactly bring the facility back to life, you can hear the echoes. I was able to lasso something that was alive in its own right. I truly believe, um, uh, I'm glad I did it because nobody else had. They paid tribute to the Braves, to the Brewers. We, we get that ad infinitum. But I don't think we ever paid homage to the mothership. What a story on Story Parkway. Tim Van Voren, Fox 6 Sports. The foreword to this book was written by former Brewers owner and commissioner of Major League Baseball, Bud Selig. It includes one of the last interviews given by Henry Aaron.